Hello and welcome back to this series. So in the last video we uh, added tags and we implemented them. So we're now uh, displaying the tags in the index page or well, actually in the post component. So anywhere we use this post component. So now we want let's let's implement the sidebar. Let's get rid of this grade space and actually put the sidebar there. So if we go to the editor, maximize it, let's stop the development server and let's commit the changes that we've done so far. So get add dot and and get commit dash m and our message will be um, displaying posts tags. All right, so let's let's see how do we do this? Let's create. Since the sidebar is going to be on so many different pages, it needs to be its own component. So let's create in components uh, sidebar.js. And before we do anything, let's actually include it. Let's go to index.js, get rid of this placeholder div, and actually put sidebar. Sidebar like this. And let's import it so it doesn't throw an error. Import sidebar. Oops, what am I doing? Sidebar from. Again, what am I doing? <laughs> Sorry about that. From, go back one level, components, slash sidebar. Okay, so inside of sidebar, let's import React. And sidebar, oops, sidebar will be a functional component, which takes nothing for now. And let's export it first, export default sidebar. Now inside of this sidebar there's gonna be a couple of cards. Oh, by the way we're just gonna return so let's do parentheses straight away and it's gonna be one main div and inside of that div we're gonna have a bunch of cards so let's bring let's bring those react strap elements first. So we need card, we need um, card title. Oops title, we need card um, body, we need, I think that's, that's what we need for now, so let's just do that, react, strap, and let's create the first card, now the first card is going to be the newsletter sign up, but uh, input, so let's do card, I'm using Emmet, which I believe now comes shipped with VS Code, uh, yes, it comes shipped with VS Code, so if you're using VS Code, you should have access to this. So let's do card, and then inside of the card, we're gonna have a card body, and inside of that, we're gonna have a title, card title, and that title will have a, a, a class of text center, which does that, and another class of text uppercase, which does that and a class of mb-3 which gives it some margin bottom which is uh, a bootstrap uh, class and this is called newsletter and underneath this title we're gonna have a form now let's bring that in from react strap so here we need form and we need a um, form group and we need input so we're gonna have a form uh, actually it's just gonna be, it's just gonna have a text, uh, class, a text center, close that, I'm gonna have a, a form group with an input inside it, press tab, and uh, actually the form group, now the input doesn't have a closing tag because it doesn't have anything in it, so let's just do this. Oops, and this, and don't worry about that, Prettier is going to format that. The type of this will be email, actually this input is not going to be wired, uh, meaning it's not going to have actual functionality, it's just going to be uh, there. If you put an email and press the button, it doesn't actually sign up to any email letter. It's, uh, if you guys want me to implement that, just uh, put that in the comments and uh, I'll probably make a video on how to uh, implement a newsletter subscription input thingy. <laughs> 
So placeholder is gonna say your email address here or just your email address. Let's save just the format and let's continue adding stuff. So this form of course needs a button and the button will have class a class name of BTN BTN outline primary. I should just do success, I want it to be green and text uppercase. And let's close that button. Actually no. Let's give it a closing tag because the button will say something. Ooh. Okay, I can't type guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so the button will say subscribe. Uh, I think we're done with this card. Let's move on to the next one. So the next one would be the advert space. So a card with a card body and with a card uh, title. The card title will have advertisement and I forgot to give it class, class name of um, text center and text uppercase. So that's uh, that's the advertisement space. We need the image, which is going to be uh, inside the body as well, and a regular image tag. And source of that image, actually, it's a really cool tool um, call, uh, from this domain name called v, uh, via.placeholder.com. And when you do slash here, you can give it any dimensions and it will generate an image for you with those dimensions. And I'm going to go for um, 320 by actually 200, not 300. And React's going to complain if we don't give it an, al an alternate uh, attribute. And we call that advert. And let's give it a width. So let's give it a style with a width of 100%. So that when it's when we um, we go on a small screen, I don't want it to be bigger than the actual card width itself. So let's close that and let's move on to the next card. Actually, let's check out and let's see if we messed anything up or if if something is not behaving properly. Let me actually save this as well. It's good from time to time to check what you to actually run and see maybe you've uh, messed up something. Because sometimes you, maybe you wouldn't realize oh where you went wrong, so sometimes just run after creating two things. There's a warning button is not defined because we didn't actually bring it in from React Strap. Should okay, okay, okay. The button is weird. Where's the button? BTN outline success. That's spelled correctly. What's the problem? Okay, let's inspect that and see why uh, why this is happening. Um, okay, this button is for some reason getting BTN, BTN secondary as well. Hmm, it might be from the React Strap uh, button uh, component. So let's just use regular regular button doesn't make a difference as long as we give it these classes actually so if we save yeah there we go that's the behavior we expected so let's add the recent posts and in order to do that we need first to write a a, a query to fetch those posts so our query would be sidebar query and that would be graphql And uh, oops, before we write anything, let's bring in GraphQL. So import GraphQL from from Gats. What am I typing? Gatsby. <laughs> okay, import not import. And our query would be query side bar query which doesn't really matter the naming so all marked down remark 
and let's give it a sort key not salt sort and we will sort by fields from matter triple underscore date and then this needs an order the task for descending and we need only three so let's limit let's give it a limit of three and let's get the fields we want so edges node and let's get the ID and I'll show you why in a second and from the front matter let's get the title the path and the image so image and then from image we get child image sharp and inside of that we need the fluid and let's give it a max width of 300 because the sidebar is really thin and let's spread this property oops three dots it's the spread operator Gatsby image sharp fluid and this is the beauty of um, of GraphQL we only get the fields we want which um, which makes the performance really really uh, fast so let's let's add a card for showing these posts so the card will have a card body and inside of that we're gonna have a card title which will have a class of text center and text uppercase and do we give it a margin yeah let's give it a margin same as the other ones margin mb-3 and this will say recent posts I don't know why I'm capitalizing the words it's gonna be all caps anyways because of text uppercase now let's do our static query here and let's bring that in from um, from Gatsby so static query and as per usual we need a query attribute which is sidebar oops, sidebar query and a render which will have access to the data which is the result of the query and it will return yeah we will return a div div and inside of this div we need to loop through all the data we have so data dot all markdown oops, markdown remark we have it there dot um, edges dot map and again not for each edge we need to because if we do edge we need to do edge dot node dot this edge dot node edge dot node dot that so let's just destructure uh, destructure node from it so and uh, yeah now we need parentheses to return as well and what we will return here is um, actually another card we'll have cards nested within cards so card and we'll give it a key and I'm gonna fix a bunch of uh, warnings from react actually because of this key thing and I'll explain in a second so key which was gonna be node.id and the title or the image is gonna be on the top and the title at the bottom but both are a link so let's wrap the image in a link and that link will go to node dot um, front matter dot path and inside of that link we're gonna have oops we're gonna have an IMG which we will need to bring as well I we'll have a class name of card image top and a fluid oops fluid of node dot um, front matter yes dot um, image dot why am I forgetting this child image sharp dot fluid and we need to bring in okay let's close that and let's bring it in so we need to bring in port image from oops Gatsby image I really can't type today now can I 
Okay, so GraphQL. Did we mess something up? Const sidebar query equals GraphQL. What is wrong with this? Oh, because there's something wrong here. Which is, let's maximize this actually. Card, image. Card body. Oh, we need to close the, the query. So after the render, we need to close the static query. Okay, we need more details inside the card. Actually, I think I messed this up. Inside the card, we need a card body. Um, no, actually, wait, the image will be on the top, it's fine. Um, card body, why is this not working? Emmet refuses to work, so let's just type that manually. And I have a card title. Okay, Emmet just outright refuses to work. That's fine. I'll just type stuff manually, I guess. And uh, again, I'll type this manually. And this link will go to uh, node.frontmatter.path and it will have the uh, title in it. So node.frontmatter.title Okay, this should compile and work, and it doesn't because link is not defined. We need to bring in link from Gatsby. You can go here. Okay, compiles, and there we go. We have our latest three posts. And of course, they're the same as this because we're in the home page, we're somewhere else. And uh, actually, we, we still need to refactor and put the sidebar everywhere, but uh, we'll do that in the next video. But in this video actually I want to finish the home page so let's carry on let's create because we need a footer here so let's create that so let's create let's maximize this and create a new file called footer.js which will hold the content that's in the footer and before we add anything let's add it to after the container so footer just like we're bringing the header, we're bringing the footer. So import footer from footer. And our footer is here. Let's import React. And const footer is a functional component that takes nothing and returns something. Actually, it returns straight away. And let's export that. Export default footer. Now we're gonna have. Uh, there's gonna be quite a lot of classes that I'm gonna use here. So feel free to look at the the SAS and learn why I use this class for that one. And where's the styling coming from? Text center for the header, and this header for we'll say code blog. And we need a text, a paragraph with text align again. No, not text align, text center, which will align the text to the center. And this will say, follow us on social media. And now we're gonna have a div with a, a div with the class footer. What do I call it? Let me check again, sorry. Footer social links, yes. Footer social links, not link links. And we will have a ul dot uh, social links list. Let me double check. Yes, social link list, links list. That's a tongue twister. And we will have an ally with a link inside it with the class of Facebook, and I will explain that in a second. And we'll have a href https colon slash slash dot www dot facebook dot com. 
and we need to give this a target of underscore blank which will open this link on a new tab or new window and we need to give this property uh, this attribute of rel equals um, no opener and uh, what is it no referrer no referrer uh, this is I actually don't know what this is <laughs> react complains whenever we have a link and it it says that it's a security vulnerability thing and we need to add this so I just add it <laughs> and inside the the link we're gonna have an icon the Facebook icon and for this we're gonna be using um, font awesome so which is an awesome library for uh, icons and a bunch of other things I mainly use it just for icons so click get started and let's get this uh, CDN link we just copy that and we go to the layout and um, where do I put this I think underneath the header is fine or just before the header actually and let's change this cross origin to a capital O because we are in the react and let's go back to the footer and um, bring in the icons so the fa the way this thing works is that I mean the way font awesome works is that you just go to icons and now you can search any icon you want so if I want Facebook uh, I'll get these icons some are free some are not I w actually don't want the regular Facebook I want the one with just F so if you click on that it will tell you to have this uh, iframe with a this I tag with a FAB class and fa dash facebook dash f of course having already included uh, the css for font awesome so let's do that i dot fab dot fa face book uh, dash f and it doesn't say anything and i'm gonna add a class of fa dash 2x which will make it bigger two times bigger and I'm gonna just copy this. Wait, I'm gonna copy this and paste it four more times. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so this one, I'm just gonna leave all the links as facebook.com. You can put your own links for the different social media platforms. But obviously this is just a dummy website for now, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna select this and holding down the um, Alt, select this, change this to Twitter. And then same thing, select this, and then we're holding Alt, I'll select this, I'll change this to uh, Instagram. Uh, this, and select that, change this to Google. And this will be changed to LinkedIn. And uh, by the way, if you go to footer, you'll see that all the links inside of our allies here, inside of our um, ul.social links, uh, list if if one has the class of Facebook and we hover it we get the RGB value of Facebook uh, th these are the actual values actually uh, of uh, the Facebook's blue Twitter's blue um, Google's uh, orange Instagram's orange and LinkedIn's blue and if we save that it should compile and it does and we go and there we go we have our footer and if we hover any of these buttons they will have their respective color so and obviously in a real world scenario you'll have actual uh, links to those uh, respective social media platforms so this has been a long video but we've We've done a lot, we've done the sidebar and the footer. And in the next video, we're gonna be implementing the single post pages for our posts. And uh, there's gonna be some new Gatsby functionality that is super cool. So look forward to that. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you for following and watching and coding along and for existing. Keep on hacking and see you in the next one. Cheers.